Welcome to Hemolytic Anemias, G6PD Deficiency. We will discuss the following take-home points. G6PD deficiency diminishes red blood cell tolerance of oxidative stress. Oxidative stress precipitates acute hemolytic episodes. During the acute hemolytic episode, the G6PD assay will be falsely negative. The significance of G6PD deficiency is that oxidative injury destroys red blood cells. Oxidative injury comes from oxidants such as superoxide anion and hydrogen peroxide, which can accumulate within red cells and cause hemoglobin and other red cell proteins to become oxidized, leading to loss of function and cell death. In the red blood cell, oxidative injury is avoided due to the action of glutathione. Glutathione, in conjunction with glutathione peroxidase, inactivates oxidants. In the process, glutathione is oxidized to oxidize glutathione. Oxidized glutathione is reduced to glutathione through the action of glutathione reductase. This reaction requires NADPH. The only red cell source of NADPH is the hexose monophosphate shunt. In this pathway, the initial step is a conversion of glucose 6-phosphate to 6-phosphogluconate, which is catalyzed by glucose 6-phosphate dehydrogenase, or G6PD. G6PD also reduces NADP to NADPH. 6-phosphogluconate then converts into ribulose 5-phosphate, and NADPH gets produced again as a byproduct. Without G6PD, there is no NADPH. For this reason, G6PD deficiency leads to oxidative injury because without G6PD, there is no NADPH, and without NADPH, there can be no restoration of glutathione levels, which means oxidants accumulate and oxidative injury will lead to red cell death. Thus, in G6PD deficiency, Red blood cells cannot tolerate oxidative stress due to medications, infection, or other toxins. Hemoglobin is subject to oxidation, and the denatured hemoglobin forms aggregates called Heinz bodies. Erythrocytes are trapped by and destroyed in the spleen, resulting in bite cells that are visible on the peripheral blood film. G6PD deficiency is the most common enzymatic disorder of red blood cells, affecting over 400 million people worldwide. The gene for G6PD deficiency is on the X chromosome, so it primarily affects men with the XY karyotype. G6PD deficiency also affects women with the XX karyotype who are homozygous through inactivation of one X chromosome, or in those with Turner syndrome with the XO karyotype. G6PD provides a survival advantage against Plasmodium falciparum and is therefore more common in historically malaria endemic regions, affecting persons of African, Asian, Mediterranean, and Middle Eastern descent. There is great variation in disease severity. Some patients present with mild asymptomatic disease, some with chronic non-spherocytic hemolysis, and some with acute hemolysis after exposure to red cell oxidants. Hemolysis triggers include infection, foods like fava beans, drugs like sulfonamides, including dapsone, antibiotics like nitrofurantoin, antimalarials like chloroquine, and antiuricemic drugs like respiricase. Clinical manifestations typically occur within one to three days of drug ingestion or oxidant injury, including the sudden onset of jaundice, pallor, and dark urine, associated with abdominal or back pain. There is an abrupt fall in hemoglobin concentration by 3 to 4 grams per deciliter. There may be shortness of breath due to anemia. Laboratory studies will show a DAT-negative hemolytic anemia. Peripheral blood film findings include microspherocytes, bite cells, and blister cells. Special stains can document the production of Heinz bodies, which are collections of denatured globin chains often attached to the RBC membrane. Diagnostic testing is based on quantitative measurements of G6PD activity in a population of red blood cells. A false negative result may occur in the setting of an acute hemolytic episode because the RBCs with the most severely reduced activity will have hemolyzed. 
For this reason, repeat testing is recommended from six weeks to about three months after an acute hemolytic episode. Confirmatory testing using molecular, genetic, or DNA methods is also available, but not routinely used. Management involves the avoidance of oxidative stress to red blood cells. Whenever hemolysis occurs, discontinue the inciting agent as soon as possible, and then provide supportive care with aggressive hydration and blood transfusions as needed. In summary, G6PD deficiency diminishes red blood cell tolerance of oxidative stress. Oxidative stress precipitates acute hemolytic episodes. And during the acute hemolytic episode, a G6PD assay will be falsely negative. This ends our video on hemolytic anemias, G6PD deficiency.